everybody, this is Kristen here, along with... Hey! Glad you're freezing over here. We're going to be playing Mega Man 3. So, before we get started there, I'm going to show you all some, some rotating right there. We're going to get started this one. Wow! And Oh, this is a brand new intro. It is the year 20XX after being defeated twice by Mega Man. The villain Dr. Albert W. Warren finally came to realize the terror he caused the world in his rivalry with Dr. Thomas Light. Now reformed and willing to atone for his misdeeds, Dr. Light rejoined Dr. Light to help him with his new project, Gamma, the gigantic peacekeeping robot. It was a long-time dream of his friend to preserve world peace, and Gal was the main of it. With the research almost done, eight new robots were constructed, which were sent. The planets in order to mine a new discovered energy elements necessary for Gamma's completion. However, each plan met with an unexpected incident. The robots suddenly went berserk. Up oh, and there's that. The robot's going crazy. Hearing the news from Dr. Light, Mega Man immediately set out, but not alone. This time he would be supported by his new friend, Rush the Robot Dog. A new chapter of Mega Man's story was about to begin. Ooh. And that's the intro. Wow. And here we are. Welcome to Mega Man 3. This is from, remember from the original Mega Man 3 where it does not have it, but... Well, this one, I'm playing on the, the newest one, which is the improvement or remastered version of Mega Man 3, where there is no lag in this one. Wow. Yeah, it would be better to play faster. And, of course, the select button is the new button that's introducing, because this game also, also features weapon swapping cause throughout these throughout the whole entire game, so that way you don't have to worry about pausing and switch to other weapons. It's just by using select button as a weapon swapping. Because that's the only button that features it. So, let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go! go. <laughs> Bam! Right. Bam! Now we got 8 year roller masters. We have Snake Man, Needle Man, Top Man, Shadow Man, Magnet Man, Gemini Man, Hard Man, and Spark Man. Those are the eight year roller masters from Big Man 3. Well, we're going to start off. We're going to start with Top Man today. According to the comics, there. Because we're eight robot masters have stolen the energy elements from Gamma. Because that's why. That's what happened in that one. That comics. Mmm. Yeah, because because the energy elements was supposed to be was supposed to be for, but energy elements could be dangerous for for some robots because they could definitely, despite of create a big shock there that contains like electricity. Where's Doctor Wiley? We don't know where Doctor Wiley is, but at the beginning of this. And you see that? See, that's weapon swapping. And, of course, we got extra lives over there, as always. You so, can always get more lives if you want to, because... Otherwise, for most speedrunners that play Mega Man 3, they don't have to get one if, if they want to go fast. Hey, tell the viewers about Adventurous Kids, band. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Adventurous Kids has... Over 500 episodes so far, and I want, want you guys to go check it out. We'll put the link in the description below. Yes. We'll put the, put the link in the description down below. As you can tell, folks, we're only one sub away from hitting 200 subs. We're really, really close. Whose channel am I to yours? Oh, my channel. My channel has like okay. around 199. Wow. And I have 187 subscribers on Adventurous Kids right now, I believe. Yeah. That's a lot. 
Yeah, because I'm only one away from 200 right now. So now we're going against Top Man. Top Man, he's like a soul. He's like has a big dancer robot. He's, he dances everywhere. Mm. Yeah, he, he usually spins around while he does a spinning dance like crazy. And there goes Top Man because he has a secondary weakness, which is uh, the Buster Shot that does only two damage, which makes it all of 14 shots, just like the one from other previous Big Man games. Mm. Now we acquired the first one, the top spin. That's what Top Man's weapon was. Big Man has faced Top Man before, but it was pretty difficult because... So, Shadow Man, ooh. Yeah, we're going to Shadow Man. Cause, so, what happened was in the next comic, did you erase against Shadow Man like in the in the next part of his comic series? Uh, oh my. Because it was on part two of that. But he went to go top man first, and then he went and battled against Snake Man next. Because Who's Snake Man? Snake Man, he, he's a snake robot that, that pretty much fires out snakes. It fires out snakes everywhere. Oh my. Yeah, that that could be like and the one for snake man snake man a snake man's weapon, that's called that's called a search snake because Ooh. search snake it kinda it kinda looks it's very similar to this one. You have a lot of usage that that would use it. Just like when we face against Shadow Man his weapon was the Shadow Blade, because Shadow Blade is useful. It's basically like almost similar to Metal Blade. Cause, and these, so these frogs, uh, they, don't, they don't do that much damage at all, because they only do like two or three. But this one, they deal like almost the, the amount of damage that they would do. And Shadow Man over there, he wants, he wants to work. I wish that was Shadow Man could work for Justice Man. So Justice probably got him when he saw Mega Man. Yeah, because Shadow Man's pretty tough. I know what Shadow Man is weak to. That's why I play mm -hmm. the black button. Christian, I'm playing, I'm trying to play this game before and I cannot do it, so Christian is the expert here. Yeah, and Shadow Man here, he throws Shadow Blades everywhere, and he's weak to Top Man's weapon, and boom, oh my. they collect four hits, boom, he's, he's gone. Now we acquire the next weapon, as we came up, not only we got Shadow Blade plus, we also get a rush item, the Rush Marine. Oh my. The uh, Rush Marine, because if you try to use Rush Marine, the only exception to use Rush Marine is like when you're in water. You no. You use Rush Marine while, he's on, while you're on land. Yeah, because the problem is, you can't use Rush Marine while you're on land. The only exception is that you can use Rush Marine is only on water. Why? Yeah, because Rush Marine does not work on land because it only works on water platforms, but not land. The only way you could do is either Rush Foil or, and basically Rush Jet, because, well, we have not got Rush Jet yet. And you'll see why I went to pick Snake Man there, because, because I'm mostly, sometimes I normally go to Gemini Man Bird, but... Going to Gemini Man Bird is a little bit tough with the Shadow Blade because it's also extremely dangerous. Why is it extremely dangerous? Yeah, because Gemini Man, on the other hand, can multiply. He can multiply himself by, by putting a, like a like a Gemini Man clone. It would be like like. Holy, out of hand, like, like, where's the real Gemini Man? Because, I was like, that's kind of like a hologram. Yeah, that's called a Gemini Man hologram that, that Gemini Man was using to multiply 
by himself. How many we, levels are we doing tonight? Well, oh, there's like, there's gonna be like a lot, like almost like, but there's like 19 levels in all from Mega Man 3. Wow. This is the same six, this is the same old six wiry stages that we have from Mega Man 2. But except, it's a, after we beat the eight Robo Masters, it's a little twist there. Ooh. But after we beat the eight Robot Masters, worlds are going to be battling the Doc Robot Battles. That's something we've never seen before. Not another Dr. Wily. <laughs> yeah, of course, because you're going to find out why right at the Right when we beat Break Man, because we're where we basically described as Proto Man, because what you're about to see later, when we get to like uh oh we just oh Proto Man we already saw that in uh, Shadow Man stage earlier. Oh my! Yeah, because that's basically Mega Man's brother and a new prototype. Now we made it to Snake Man. Snake Man, he pretty much fires out and starts snakes everywhere. Cause, but since I don't have his weakness, because his weak, he's weak to Needle Man's weapon, the Needle Cannon. Wow. But we don't have that, so. So I use Shadow Blade, which does two damage as well. And Snake Man can, pretty, can be pretty sneaky, but what are we talking now? After a couple of misses, but we're okay. What happened was when Mega Man was was facing against Snake Man, the snakes actually actually ended up not, it ended up hurting hurting Mega Man, but he got a Mega Man just got a power train after getting bit by the snake. Which man are you doing now? This one we're doing. Gemini Man next. Now is Gemini that Saturn? Man, yeah, that's what they made from the like that looks like a planet Saturn that they make since this during the the uh, the improved the remastered version of Mega Man Three. But some of the older ones they don't actually have that because. Because they don't actually have the one with the planet Saturn on it. But with the remastered version, they do make the planet Saturn. In this remake. Cause and these enemies, they sometimes drop extra lives. No matter how many lives we get. And there's the next cutscene over here. To this. Over here. And we also got Pro Man coming back over here. Is he a villain? Well, Pro Man is technically not a villain, but. Oops, you fell. Yeah, and he go boop. And he's trying to. Yeah, Pro Man help boss, but until I realized, I was like, what? Was that Break Man? I was like, I didn't know it was Break Man all along. Do you still play Belize Tower Defense 5? Well, I still play it sometimes, but I don't play it for quite a while because now I got into the to the Mega Man games. Cause yeah, I'm I've, not, not, I've not played it like in such a long time. Unfortunately, I'm unable to play Blaze Tower Defense because of the Adobe Flash Player being gone. Yeah, it was being off because. Yeah, the Adobe Flash Player has officially ended, like, like the end of 2020. That's the reason it's, I know why, it's because of the coronavirus. That's what impacted the Adobe Flash Player. They come up with a new Flash Player, which is called the, uh, called Supernova. Mmm. Yeah, uh, that's a, that's the new type of flash player that that they have. So these enemies that are hiding in these bubbles there, they obviously hide in the bubbles. 
on what they can do. And they don't they don't even do that much damage. They only do like one damage on, on this one, so that shouldn't be bad, so And these these dragonflies, they do much damage like this penguin over here, cause is that an evil penguin? <clears throat> yeah, that's what that's what Doctor Wiley just built. Really? Yeah, that's what Doctor Wiley built. <laughs> like after Mega Man, but see these little penguins, little baby penguins. They shoot out the little baby penguins. They they do much much damage there because of how much HP I got. How are you so good at playing this game? Tell everyone. Well, the reason why I'm good at this one is because I can know every boss's weaknesses, what their weakness was, but sometimes Ooh. even secondary weaknesses, because even as well. But we had to be very careful with these ones. Cause, yeah, you can just see Rush Marine over here. And of course, what's even funny is Rush Marine can jump on that when it's out of water, which is basically silly. Of, of Mega Man to do that. Not another Dr. Wily. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> now we made it to Gemini Man. Are we gonna defeat Dr. Wily? Yeah. I mean, you, not me. <laughs> I know. We are gonna beat Dr. Wily. So, there's Gemini Man. He multiplies himself after the the battle started. Ooh. He may get down to one Gemini man once he gets below halfway because he's weak to Snake Man's weapon and then boom, he's like down. It takes like four or five shots to beat him. So now, now we acquired the Gemini laser. Ooh, it's a Gemini laser. Uh, the Gemini laser. Why is that the piercing laser? Who's the next man? Needle the next man. One, we're going to Needle Man. Here is probably the most the most mean needle robot masters that that always uses needles because when Mega Man gets to the fight with Needle Man, like after he defeated Magnet Man because Cause he defeated Magnet Man first before he went to Needle Man. Because and while he was searching for Needle Man, he's like, he's like, Magnet Man must have tricked me. Why would Needle Man be on this one? I mean, this was Needle Man's boat all along. I mean, what kind of boat was that? A ninja. <laughs> Uh, like, I was playing around band. Yeah. <laughs> this is like Needle Man's ball. Who's that guy with the ball? Oh, the one he throws it. That's that Mega Man 3 Sniper Joe there. Ooh. That's called the Rope Joes there from Mega Man 3. That throws uh, a rope of ball. <laughs> ball there. The same old, that's an upgraded Sniper Joe there. Now we're through. Needle Man, he always fires out needles everywhere. And that Gemini laser can bounce everywhere, because. And this Needle Man fight is really crazy, because sometimes Needle Man doesn't, doesn't want to cooperate, sometimes he wants to cooperate. Oh, uh, what, what's happening? Oh, he has to go to the center in order to absorb the power. Now, it gets the new weapon. Now we obtain not only the needle cannon, plus rush jet. Ooh, rush jet. What's a, what's a rush jet? Uh, rush jet, you know, rush was, rush was basically built for, for Mega Man's dog, because he built, uh, that was built by Dr. Light, because Dr. Light built mm. Mega Man a dog, the robot, a robot dog, that named him Rush. Now Magnet Man. Yeah, so now we're going to Magnet Man because this is where he pays, like, pays on uh, on the third part. Because after Mega Man defeated Gemini Man, now there's Proto Man.
in again. Ooh. We had to, we had, the only thing is that we had to be brought in like four times, like. And what? Those, what? These ones, boom. They brought out missiles like crazy there. Which talks to Wiley. And Dr. Warren may be heading somewhere. <laughs> what are those guys? The eyes. Yeah, those eyes, they're like walking parts. They're like walking parts, but they do like lots of damage depending on how much HP you got there. Now we're going to use Rush Jet and Act. Use the Rush Jet. Coming wow. up in action. If you like press jump, you could use like less energy, but if you stay on there, it's going to drop a little fast. Yeah, because depending on how much you're using. So now we get to take this one and this. Now we're actually through. And now Mega Man now has a sliding function that which you which you see over here. That you saw already at the beginning. Now Mega Man, he fires out magnets everywhere. Are those magnets? Yeah. Ooh. His weapon was the magnet missile because it could it could accelerate anything else. The magnet missile could pretty much chase anything. Mm. They could chase every, like everything because magnet missiles could sometimes be really good at chasing enemies. And this is where we're going to be obtaining the magnet missile. Ooh, That's it's a magnet missile. Yeah. Which man is there. next? So now we got two more left. We're going to a hard man next. What happens after the last man? Well, after the last man, because after the last man, there's going to be something quite particularly special. Ooh. Yeah, this is special. And see, those bees, yeah, these, those, those big bees, they, uh, they come out with small bees, but they do, like, lots and lots and lots of damage there, because... And you'll see the hanging part there. That's trying to trying to snatch up and go boom, 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 boom. It does it like that. Cause Is that the jet? Yeah, that's Rush Jet there. When you land on him, because they get to ride on that. This one's basically useful. Yeah, instead of pausing, you just use the select button as a weapon to swap weapons. Where's wherever you could change. Yeah, this guy that hangs up on the wall like crazy. <laughs> That's just not even useful. When does the band say? Mega Man 3. Say that again. The band says Mega Man 3. You say that again. again. <laughs> And what we can actually see about it is, is in the comic series that when Doctor Wily was was hanging out know, with Doctor Light, uh, trying to search for the energy elements, because Mega Man has sent the energy elements to to Light Labs to finish getting back Gamma, but Ooh. the problem is that restoring Gamma could be the biggest mistake. That heroes could make. Why? Yeah, because we thought that something terrible would officially happen to them. Is that Doctor Wily? <laughs> no, that's not Doctor Wily. That's a big machine. I'm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, now we're going to Hard Man. Who's hard that man. guy? That's Hard Man and Hard Man. <laughs> He wore punches very hard. But we decided to come out with Magnum, so he's not going to do much more punching. Because he uses like a hard knuckle to, to use it as his weapon, like a fist there. And that's what we're getting. Since hard you got down. hard knuckle. Yeah, that's hard knuckle because it fires out. It fires 
very, very slow. We got the last man, which is Spark Man. Yeah. That was the one thing on the final part of of the A Robot Masters that Mega Man was hunting down. So that was Mega Man versus Hardman and Spark Man. So what happens after this man is done? After this man we're not gonna be quite done with those. We got the Doc Robo stages. Ooh. Yeah, that's something we don't see before. Because this is something that no one has ever seen. So um, Spark Man says, well, at the end of the third part of the Mega Man 3 comic series, but we found out that Dr. Wily was acting strange as of late. No. Nah. Even though, like, Roll has been growing suspicious, well, when when she asked Otto to keep an eye out on Dr. Wily, but then Otto went missing cause, for some reason. Not another Dr. Wily. Yeah, when Roll found out, when she, she's trying to find Otto, she finds she find something extremely horrifying. Ooh. Yeah, she finds, Roll just found something extremely horrifying back at Black Labs, because she found out that Otto was officially disassembled. No. He, he was, he, he, Roll found Otto disassembled with all his memory points ripped out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and the one who did it though, it was Dr. Wiley all along. Not again. Say that. Not again. We actually know it was why we all along. <laughs> so now, Spark Man, he's pretty much, much firing out Spark Shocks everything. And boom. Are we trapped? Nope. We're not trapped there. And that's the end of that, man. Yeah, now you we have can... made Spark Shock. You spark Shark? Shock. Yeah, the, the Spark Shark, actually, when you fire out the Spark Shark, it paralyzes the enemies when, it, it, it like, freezes the enemies when it says paralyzing. But, we're, we're not done yet. We still got the Doc Robot stages. How many stages? There's a, there's a kind of, that's what's called the revisits. So, Snake Man, Hard Man, Mega Man, and Top Man are done. Wow. Yeah, that's why it's busted, so they're not revisits anymore. So, so the ones that are revisits are Spark Man, Needle Man, Shadow Man, and Gemini Man. Mm. Those are the revisits that we're going to be doing. We're actually going to go to Doc Needle Man stages. And you'll see with those weird question marks on it, you'll see a big surprise that's coming up on these. <laughs> when we get to the Doc Robot battle. It's yeah, almost... They, yeah, because those needles, they, they're not even instant kill. They're, they do lots and lots of damage. It's and, almost the 4th of July. Yeah, it's almost 4th of July. Can you believe it? Yeah, I know, because... Here's a fun fact. The Declaration of Independence was officially established on July 4th, 1776. That's why we have Independence Day, July 4th. Yeah, that's what I saw. It's been like oh, almost 250 years there. Alright, uh, here we go. Now on to the... The Doc Robot Battle. This is going to be the one from Mega Man 2. <laughs> Say hello to Doc Air Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. It's Doc Air Man all along. Oh, it's no. <laughs> Doc Air Man is down. Why is he down? Yeah. That's why Doc Aaron was down. Remember the last time on Mega Man 2 that we fought hard? The, we, when we last obliterated them? But now they're back. Mega Man 
two robot masters are now back for bloodthirsty revenge. What does obliterate mean? That's to destroy. Ooh. Yeah, because that's that was the last time that we obliterated those Mega Man two robot masters. Now they're back and transform into duck robots. Not again. Not again. Yeah, getting those weapon energy is very tricky there. When you're pretty much low on hope, it's not quite fun. Who's those? Who's that guy you're fighting? Yeah, those are the guys that he, that, that he normally does that when he jumps up and whoop and, and decides to go forward. Ooh. Here we go. Yes. And those, this is the giant mess there that, that fires out a bunch of mechs. Who's that giant robot? And well, it's a giant mess. Are you going to defeat it? Yeah, I tried defeating it, but it's pretty hard to defeat it well, with Buster. But when you switch to Shadow Blade, boom, you can pretty much reach out anything. Wow. You can pretty much reach with the range there. Shadow Blade's multi-directional as well, because just like the Metal Blade. And fighting with Buster, because... And, oh, wow, I never missed any shot. That never happens, because... And this one, you cannot fire out while he's rolling that. Now we're going to say hello to our next duck robot. Say hello to Doc Crashman. <gasps> Doc Crashman. No. <laughs> and four hands, he's already down. But you're and trapped. But we just got out there because for Who's... Doc Airman's, yeah, for Doc Airman's weakness, Doc Airman is weak to both magnet missile or spark shock. Who's the next man? We're going to the Shadow Man revisit. Wow. Are those spikes? Yeah, those spikes. They're, those are the spikes that you don't want to be in. Because you don't want to be in two, those two spikes. That is instant death over there. Cause, yeah, you don't want to be hit in those two spikes. Where that's instant death over there. Wow. And of course... And the one that you fall down, you also do not do not want to fall down into the big pit. Of course, that is the depth as well. What are those waterfalls? Those waterfalls are actually lava, but they're not. They're not charging at that Mega Man there. Mm. Yeah, because that's some kind of weird thing we never see. And this is another another funny duck robot battle that we're gonna be seeing on this one. Okay, let's refill up Rush Jet because because I because I never feel like it. Next duck robot. Oh. Is that Doctor Wiley? No. Nope. Say hello to Duck Woodman. <gasps> duck Woodman. Yeah, it's pretty funny to see Doc Woodman using a leaf here as always. <laughs> Man, that's actually funny when I see Doc Woodman. But he's weak to Needle Man's weapon, the Needle Cannon. Yeah, and these sniper Joe's over here. Oh, I, you can actually shoot you can actually shoot the ball there. Yeah, mm. the sniper Joe throws when when he throws something. You can always use a shadow blade to take out one hit because see those jumping frogs they do not. Yeah, they also have the the parachute robots there, and this one lags so much when you actually can get those, but with those. And this is something that we're going to see next. Oh. <laughs> Say hello to Doc 
say hello to Doc Heatman. Is he worse than Dr. Wiley? No. Nah. <laughs> Doc Heatman was pretty funny when he using atomic fire. Who's the worst <laughs> villain? It was Wiley, of course. Wow. Yeah, because after when Mega Man restored the rest of the energy elements that he put back at Light Labs, Mega Man found out that that no one was answering at, at Light Labs. Ooh, Spark and, Man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to the Spark Man revisits because because this is something different there and oh god, I'm not a lightning. That's not the one that we're going to be concerned about. Those ones, they fire out something. And those, those are the rolling parts that, that they push out. They can, uh, they can move, move themselves around like backward and forward together. Are those the spikes? Yeah, those spikes are down there that you do not want to be in. Because that's just the death over there. Ooh. Yeah, not good. Yeah. And boom. Take him out with the shadow play. We're going to use Magnet Missile. We got another Dr. Robot to see on, on the Spark Man revisit. Dang, say, boy. <laughs> say hello to Doc Metal Man. <laughs> say dang, boy. Dang, boy. <laughs> Penny on the whiskey. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah. And Doc Metal Man, he's weak to Magnet Man's weapon. He's weak to Magnet Missile, and Doc Metal Man is basically down. And another villain. Yeah. <laughs> when Dr. Wirewolf found out what Dr. Wiley has done, a million? Yeah, but Dr. Lemon was like, Elmer, the one! <laughs> and Dr. Wiley comes out with the most funniest thing that he said. He's like, Because I was the best Taurus! It's that time that you learned that. I was like, Oh my god, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, and. Roll well, on the other hand, on the next one with the ultimate betrayal, because I found out that Dr. Wiley just fooled the world that he was a great man all along. And wow. Yeah, that's what Dr. Wiley just did. Not again. Yeah, that's when... Yeah. Now the next Wolf Dr. Robo, we're facing against... Doc Quick Man, because he's quick, and Doc Quick Man is actually weak to both Gemini Laser or Snake Search, or the Search Snake, because mm -hmm. he's got both weaknesses. Now we got Gemini Man Revisit last. Ooh. That's what I normally do. How many more stages? There's like seven more to go, because... Because after that, we're going to go against, uh, against Blues, who is basically described as Proto Man. And now he's now being described as Break Man when Dr. Wally modified him. Wow. Yeah, because Dr. Wally modified Proto Man into becoming the identity of Break Man. Wow. Yeah, because that's what they call him. Yeah, because it was programmed by Dr. Wiley. When they found out, because in the comics, because when Dr. Wiley was found to be innocent from, after a, the blackout from uh, Raw Moon, because cause this was after they, Mega Man and Dr. Wiley fight against Raw Moon, because it was, that was causing a global blackout. No. Yeah, it was Raw Moon that caused a global blackout all along, and Dr. Wiley was being controlled by Raw Moon. He's like, 
He's like, just let him alive! And Dr. Larry was crying out loud for help because... And Frank Man on the other hand was fighting Rock because... Well... Well, Mega Man known as Rock all along where they were meant to go. All of his Mega Man 1 Robot Masters, all of Rock there. They were having a birthday party for Mega Man and talk about their own. And Breakman decides to crash the party. Ooh. Yeah. Next robot, we're saying hello to Doc Flash Man. <laughs> yeah. He's late to both Gemini Laser and Needle Cannon because. Because, uh, and, oh, there goes Doc Flashman. We got one more Doc Robot Master left. That's gonna be Bubble Man. Yeah, that's gonna be Doc Bubble Man when we get to him. Mm. Yeah, because there's this water. And I gotta relax for a minute because it's been tiring out for so long. And one thing I gotta tell you about the comics. Remember how the the global blackout in the Mega Man comic called the Curse of Raw Moon? Because mm. Mega Man was, oh my god, it was affected by that. When when Raw found out the when Dr. Light so so Roll that it might be blues up there. And Roll said uh, that Dr. Light just told Rock that he was certain that he was dead. Ooh. But but unfortunately he's not dead because Dr. Wiley found him and it made Breakman fight Mega Man. That's what after Breakman decided to crash Rock's party. That's what Breakman exactly did. He started fight against Rock. But not alone. Mark is also fighting along with his, his fellow robot masters that Dr. Light just built. Ball Man, Cut Man, and Guts Man were fighting Break Man as well. They were on Mega Man's team all along. When are you going to continue playing? Oh, uh, because until Mom is. Oh my goodness, I've been feeling that, feeling that vibration there. What, what vibration? Yeah, I've been feeling that my arm was vibrating all along because my arm's been, been playing for so long. Now I'm a little relaxing, so... Mm -hmm. We're going to continue on. <laughs> now the next one... And I just had to go down there because <laughs> my there's bugs down there. We do not want to get hit by that. And we can take uh, Shadow Blade there. Last one. We're going to say hello to Doc Bubble Man. Hurry before he gets you. Ooh, he got you. Oh, never mind. I thought he got yeah, you. Yeah, because he got, he shoots out bubbles there because, and boom. He's weak to both Shadow Blade and uh, Spark Shock. He spent ex... He's been exterminated. Yeah. Now we're gonna say hello. Say hello to Breakman. <gasps> Breakman? Yeah, he's been modified by Dr. Wily. When he Breakman was set to fight Rock when Life House was on fire. Oh no! Right after we received the last element. And Wily ran off with Gamma. Who's Gamma? Uh, Gamma was the peace, was the peaceful keeping robot that Dr. Light was Light unveiled and was built. But until then when when Dr. Light was oh my god, when when I found out from the comic series, Dr. Light just <clears throat> when when uh, after Dr. Wiley left Dr. Light's lab, we found out that Dr. Light's lab was officially burnt down to the ground. And I was like, oh, man. I found out Dr. Light's lab was completely burnt down to the ground and burnt to a crisp that Mega Man and Break Man just saw. We found out it was Dr. Wily's doing. 
What stage are you on now? Now we're on the first flowery stage. The last part of the game? This is the first flowery stage, but this is not the last part. Flowery stage 6 is the last part. Ooh. <clears throat> this is after Mega Man just, was, just had his fight against Breakman. The, he just proves Breakman that he was, that Breakman was wrong about everything. Cause, mm -hmm. Yeah, because Breakman was, <clears throat> said something that he does not believe in. Because he's like, why are you staying with Dr. Light all the time? And Megan said, because he's my dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Broken Man should have known. And Great Man thinks that he's a mechanic, but that's, that's not why. I mean, that's not why he's a mechanic. He's Mega Man's dad, including Rolf's dad, too. Hmm. When Rolf was... Because when Dr. When Dr. Wiry said that Breakman was handling Mega Man, and Dr. Wiry was like, Breakman, you wanted to recognize my own boy. He's like, and Dr. Wiry's like, he's mine now. And, and then, Roll on the other hand, she got super angry at Wiley because she's been telling Wiley that he hurt Otto there and putting Mega Man through more terrible fighting. And then she was screaming at, at Wiley like crazy. Wow. Yeah, because she does not like Wiley a lot. She was very angry at Wiley. Who's she? Uh, uh, that was Roll because uh, Roll was Mega Man's sister. She, she wanted Rock to, to be safe out there. So tell the viewers, when did he first play Mega Man? When? What? Roll was, was built by Dr. Light as well as Mega Man before, which also known as Rock. Because that, that's what Dr. Light named him. No, tell the audience, when did you ever first play Mega Man? The first time I've ever first played Mega Man was like probably in the early 2000s or something like that. Whoa. Yeah, the early 2000s is when I started playing. I think it was like Mega Man when I was playing Mega Man 2. Ooh. When I first. That's when I first played that because I thought the only Robo Master I beat was only Flash Man. But now I for how I mastered it. <clears throat> and now Wiley Two <clears throat> Wiley Two is like pretty much the most dangerous stage of all. Ooh. And those bees over there, yeah, these ones you don't want to get hit because they do a lot of damage there. And this, and this, that does not look pretty good. Now we're getting to the bigger point there, because this is where all these bees come out, and and this is where I gotta get rid of all the bees there. How many bees and are there? There's like only five, only just five. That's all. Ooh. Now we're going to the to the next boss fight. We're facing against another yellow devil. This is the upgraded one. The previous Yellow Devil was from Mega Man 1. This is the upgraded one. Mm. It went from really good to incredibly bad. Because, because this one is way too easy. And this weakness to that was hard knuckle. Because Who's that giant green monster? Giant green monster... This is never like about the green monster. It's like this is like the yellow monster. Oh, it look green to me. Yeah, this one's yellow. This is the upgraded yellow devil, which mm -hmm. is the upgraded part. Yeah, we can pretty much get what he likes there, cause but it might take some time there, but it's not that very easy to beat, cause cause. 
because if you're fighting against this yellow devil thing, remember to always look where you're going and remember the pattern where they go. And I pretty much gonna need to use anything because I do not want to risk it. Because and the last one, boom. And wow. The yellow devil's been defeated. <clears throat> Annihilated, right? Yeah. These yellow devils just got annihilated by the hard knuckle because now for Wily 3, this is where go to the secret portions of it. This is where we gotta see this one. This stage, you gotta see these ones, those gates that are blocked there, Mega Man has to use the hard knuckle in order to in order to get through. But getting through, I had to get to get that far with the buster because it's pretty much easy to do that. Because using it was not pretty easy, you know. Even if you try to do that, because when when Mega Man found out that. And after Dr. Wily left uh, Dr. Light's lab, with everything else in Light Labs leveled, because, and Roll was finally happy that Rock was finally back. And Meg was like, I, I was promised that you two were, were okay. And Dr. Light was like, I am not fine. He goes, uh oh. And this is when Dr. Light got. Wow. Yeah, and Dr. Lyon was like, I just handed the most powerful piece of machinery in the world to a madman I completely devoid of any scruples. Well, what else can I do? I couldn't let him hurt my children. I already lost <laughs> one thing, but I cannot lose anymore. You're yeah. funny, band. Yeah, I know, because Dr. Lyon gets so mad about everything. Saying that he's gonna lose his robot masters, including Gamma and the size of everything. Wow. Um, yeah, I think it was. But Mega Man told him that trusting Dr. Wari again was a mistake. Mm. And this is a Mega Man clone that we're finding. They're already down quickly. Because their weakness. Because their weakness was Surf Snake. So, Wari 4, this is the refight. This is the refight battle where we have to. This is like some sort of boss rush because. What level is this? This is why we stage four. Seven. So, uh, this is no like why we stage seven there because there's only six of them. I'm just playing around. Yeah, <laughs> because. Yeah, because Mega Man told Dr. Light that trusting Dr. Wily again was a mistake. He's going to help him fix it. Ooh. Because, yeah, that's what Mega Man was supposed to do. If Dr. Wily was able to gain control of Gamma, there won't be any way of stopping him. Because that, he, that Mega Man and Rush will need to be repaired and rearmed. That they will need all his help, but he's been badly damaged too. Wow. Yeah, because when they had to do the patching for, for Argo, and all seem to be pretty angry that that Rock is risking his life again because mm -hmm. that they cannot even provide him with support with support at this moment because with all the life rides ruined, that Dr. Light won't be able to look out for him and Mega Man is left on his own. Wow. Yeah, because... Black Lab got ruined because it's because of Dr. Wily. Who's that monster? That's Mega Man, the one we just did last time. Wow. Yeah, and we just beat him. Now we're going to Gemini Man. This is an actual boss rush. This is Ooh. some sort of refight. There are two villains, too. Yeah, two Gemini Mans because of the hologram. That that Gemini Man was using, and he's down, and 
Boom. Now we're going to Hard Man next. And boom. Yeah, we just wait to Magnet Man's weapon. And next one, down. So the next one, we're going to Top Man. I have Top Man's weakness. He's weak to Hard Knuckle. Yeah. Yeah, it, do, it does four hits and boom. Yeah, it takes, he deals, Top Man deals like 25% of the damage from Hard Man's weapon. And top, top spin on Shadow Man is pretty risky. Cause, because when you use Top Spin on, on Shadow Man, not only Shadow Man will get hit, but you will also take damage as well. Wow. Yeah, that's the reason. And Spark Man, on the other hand, Spark Man, he wants to be reunited with his brothers that wow. the game. Because they're getting. They want Mega Man to save in their IC chips to rebuild them where they'll have their second chance. And boom, that's Snake Man. Now we're going to refill every. pretty much almost every single weapon in this game. Cause, wow. Yeah, they have all those lots of energy drops, special weapon drops that they have. Ready, set, go, band. Yeah, we're getting ready for Wiley 5 because... One stage ready. left. Yeah, we're, going, we're almost getting close there. This is not This is not the one here. It's, it's not over yet because... Wiley stage 5 boss. We're saying hello to the one and only Wiley Walker. That's the Wiley Walker? Yeah, that's the Wiley Walker that Wiley's using. Whoa, how's that bad? Yeah, because it's pretty much slow there. Cause How do you defeat it? Yeah, you can defeat it with the special weapons. You can just use Spark Shock, whatever. Cause Ooh. And... Coming to the Wiley... Beating the Wiley Walker is pretty much essentially dangerous because... Where we have to use rush jet to where it'd be much safer to use it. We have to use it pretty fast. But is that the real Wiley? No, it was not the real one. It had, it had the springs on it, but Dark Lord built himself. Is <laughs> this no round six? Yeah, and this is the official last one. There it goes! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Gonna grab our last one. And the final tank. But let's Here talk to Wiley. Hey, he's hiding inside Gamma. We're, we're gonna put it into this. Wait, who's Gamma again? There's Gamma. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah. That's where Dr. Wiley is hiding. You're he not kidding, are you? No, I'm not kidding. Dr. Wiley took control of Gamma. Whoa. When Gamma's power is nearly indestructible, and Mega Man's chances are slim. Cause oh, I see Wiley. I see Wiley right there. Yeah, he's inside Gamma. We gotta take him out. And the next one, boom, he's down. Woo. He's here for the first time. Uh, Go talk to Wiley. Uh, and Mega's like, this says my with such a wise got you, Wiley. And Mega goes, oh no, Wiley! Ooh, ooh. Oh no. If, and Mega Man was found, he regained conscious. Where's Dr. Wiley? Oh no, it's too late. Is this the end of the game? Yeah. Mega Man, you regained consciousness. I found you lying more. Here when I arrive. I wonder if you're here. It might have been that whistle. This whistle must have must have been Proto Man, I suppose. Turns out it was Proto Man to bring him back. When they found out Oh man. Mega Man tried to save Dr. Wally, but 
he was too damaged to move, and Mega Man could not, eventually could not save him. Is this the end of the game? Yeah, because... Turn your camera to... around so people can see you. Oh, wait, before I go that, and that's when Mega Man couldn't save Dr. Wily, because, because Dr. Wily ended up destroying his own castle Ooh. while he was inside Gamma. And then he failed to control Gamma, and then boom. And that's when Dr. Wily, oh, oh no, he was dead. And I found out that Dr. Wily was, came crashing down on his own fortress. And he was nowhere to be found. It's pretty sad that Dr. Wily mm -hmm. was, was, that just died. And, and Mega Man was pretty much upset that he couldn't save him. I knew Dr. Wily just brought it upon himself that he was like full in the world that he was a good man all along. Mm -hmm. because, and right after his fight against Raw Moon where Dr. Wily was found innocent of his crimes because of fighting against Raw Moon because of the, because he was controlled by Raw Moon. Turn your camera around. And... Well, folks, there you have it. That's about it. So Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get all the latest content. content. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Adventurous Kids 2. Yes. And, of course, this is Christopher Perez signing off, saying good night. Good night, guys. And I'm Elijah, his friend. Yeah. We're signing off.